It is. All right, everybody. We're here again today to bring you another episode of Morning Star Fishing Adventures. We are trying the Shimong River once again, only we are in a different location. Um, today we have Riley. And over here you will see Liam and Jaden. Jaden was not with us yesterday. He doesn't particularly like fishing, but we're gonna try and change his mind today. All right, let's get to it. We don't really have a lot of time to fish today. We had our football games today. I am one of the coaches for one of the teams and my boys play. So that's where we spent most of our day. Then we finished watching my Miami Dolphins win their football game today. And we ate. And then I told the boys, let's go fishing. Let's try and get a video in today. It is September 18th, a Sunday here in Pennsylvania. We are trying to get to our spot. I'm going to throw this red crank that I was using last time. And I'm going to try and stick with it. All right. First spot. Get this red crank out there. First cast. Move down a little bit. This grass really, really bugs me. Those beavers were right here. They've ducked under. Not sure where they went. Oh, there they are. See them popped and pop back up over here. And then he goes back under. That's good. I want him moving away. They're pretty sure there was two of them swimming together. But I do not want them near me. So they can stay away. They can swim the other way. And there the beavers go. They're swimming that way. And Riley has a fish on. Let's see if he can be safe enough to unhook it himself. I hope so. Sounds like he's got a pretty good sized fall fish. You get him unhooked? Yeah, he unhooked himself. Oh, good. I'm happy about that because this is good. <laughs> oh, damn. This guy just tried to bite me. Is it a bug? No. Good fall fish. This is a new species for Riley. He's never caught one before until today. Everybody can see that. Yes, you can. All right. We pulled him back. I don't have a stringer for you to put him on. What? I don't have a stringer for you to put him on. Oh, well, he's going back now anyway. <laughs> that fish will live to see another day he wanted to use it for catfish bait we do have the one from the other day but that probably would have been a good one to have too you can never have enough catfish bait 
I'm thinking we'll probably get some catfishing in here very soon. Maybe, maybe within the next week and a half or so. We'll see how, cause we, we do our catfishing at nighttime. We start in the, right before dark and then go right into dark. But today, it's about that big old bass. Fish on. I'm not sure what he is. I'm thinking it might be another fall fish. Oh, maybe it's a bass. I never, I, I don't feel like I'm ever the first one to catch a fish. But, like I've said before, I'd like for them to catch fish just as much as me. And that's why I've gotten into fishing so much this past year. It is because of them. They're really into it. Makes me excited for it. And let's just face it, fishing is fun. There's no other sport like it. It just feels like the best thing. Not cooped up indoors. Kids aren't playing video games. They're out here enjoying the world. And they're learning how to make sure they never starve. This is one of the greatest things to learn. You can learn how to fish in different ways and you will never starve. There are so many different ways. Ooh, that was a nice hit too. So many different ways to learn how to fish. Fish on. Yep. There he is. He's a nice one. Going to toss him back. This nice good. Got him. Oh, had a fish on. Got him? Oh, he's still on. Good job, Jaden. Jaden doesn't fish with as much, so to see him catching a fish makes my day. All right. So there's a, my third smallie for the day. And I'm gonna take a quick picture. And then I'm gonna help Jaden unhook his. Jaden's gonna make his debut on 
YouTube. All right, bud. Let's see what you got. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> All right, here's what I need you to do. Hold this. Hold this. I want some chicken dog. On the black beetle spin. Come on. Give it up, man. Give it up. There we go. There's Jaden's. Pretty little smallie. And they are small in this area. I was talking about that yesterday. See if we can get Jaden to hold his fish. Right by the lip. Don't be afraid of it. It ain't going to bite you. Don't be afraid of it. Pinch. We are losing daylight, so we don't have much longer here. But it's just nice to be able to get out and fish. I know the boys appreciate it. They enjoy it. Jaden's becoming a bass slayer all of a sudden. Oh, he lost it. Well, you pick your spot so I can pick mine. I'm just moving out not that much. A lot of this is gravel, which I'm hoping is where the walleye are. It is starting to become a little dark. I really want that first walleye. Boys really want that first walleye. So there's Riley with his fish. I did have to help him unhook it. And I'm going to get a picture. Look at me. <laughs> All right, bud. Let him go. Hey, can I have my pole? Yeah. Thank you. I think I'll get a few more casts in, and then I think it's going to be quitting time because unfortunately we are losing daylight. We can fish into the dark, but I didn't bring my headlamp, I left it in the car. We do like night fishing for rock bass with lures. That'll come soon on this channel. We are going to be taking you guys everywhere we go. We're hoping to do some trips. Next uh, summer, I think we're doing Outer Banks. We might do some ocean fishing. We even want to do some fishing in North Carolina, maybe South Carolina next year. So we got some tangles, some lost lures. Um, but if you guys liked what you've seen, please like and subscribe. Definitely hit that subscription button. Hit the likes. That helps the algorithm. Uh, gets, a, gets more eyes on us. Uh, thank you for watching.